Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Adam Bell on Sammy Hendricks, Charlton Sportsnet. We're here at Indian Field Senior Night. We've got Eccles County in town with a doubleheader with your 2024 Region Champions. Sammy? All right. Uh, good evening for doubleheader baseball. Indians will come into this game. Like you said, there's Region Champs. They come in at 25 and 1 overall, 17 0 in the region. Eccles County comes into the game. 16 and 5 overall and 6 and 12 in the region. Uh, final two games of the season for both teams. And on to the playoffs next week. I'm ready, man. You ready? I'm ready. I'm yeah. ready for some playoffs next week. We got a Montgomery County coming to town uh, Tuesday, 4 30 and 6 30. 4 30 and 6 30, yep. If game Wednesday at 3 30. That's right. Well, we got to take care of business tonight. We got the Wildcats in town. They're fighting for a playoff spot. They come out. They might come out swinging tonight, man. Yeah, you know, looking at the record, they haven't had a really good season, but they're a scrappy little ball club, and they always play us hard every time we play them. Yeah. And just go ahead, right before we forget about it, remind everybody that you've been seeing on the Facebook about the makeup game for against Turner County for t possibly tomorrow. That game has been canceled. So yep. no game tomorrow against Turner County. Yep, no game, game at all. Turner, Turner, I guess, officially forfeited is, yes. what, is yep. what we were yep. told. That, so. game, that game has been canceled and will not be um, no makeup date. So you guys have the weekend off. That's right. That's weird for a baseball parent. Yep. They're not going to know how to act. <laughs> they might actually go to the river tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Coaches meeting is just concluded at home plate. Uh, we're getting ready for a play introduction. So who's up there? Dr. Howard, I believe, right? I think that's who. I think I heard him on there. Good afternoon, ladies yep. and gentlemen. And welcome to this Region 2A Division 2 baseball game between the Eccles County Wildcats and your Charlton County Indians. Starting lineups for Eccles County. I just sent you a list of seniors. Thank you. At first base, number 11, Landon Bush. At shortstop, number 13, J.P. Deans. At pitcher, number 10, Zach Jones. At catcher, number 31, Caden Deloach. In left field, number 16, Jose Perez. On second base, number 15, J.D. Staten. In right field, number 14, Hunter Castleberry. Head coaches, Frank Deloach, and assistant coach, Joe James. And now, the starting lineup for your Charlton County Indians.
All right, Sammy, that was play introductions on the National Anthem. Hey, I'm looking at the uh, standings right now as of tonight, or at this moment. We're obviously region champs. Lanier's 13 and 5. Clinch is at 8 and 10. Echo's at 8 and 10. Echo's is at 6 and 12, so, I mean, they would have to sweep us tonight to even be in contention for that four seed. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, so that's kind of an interesting question because Clinch is supposed to play Turner tonight. Are they playing? Or are they going to get two forfeits oh, on that know. game? Let me see. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. Region schedule. That's a big question. Yeah, there. region schedule says it's in progress. Clinch is playing Turner right now. Okay. Lanier's playing Atco. I don't know who holds the tiebreaker for the three and the four. I don't either. I didn't have to go back and look at their game results to find out about that. Let's see if uh, Echo, who, Lanier's playing Echo, so they would, it'd be Clinch. Clinch would be the three seed because Lanier's playing Echo. Lanier's probably going to win that. Yeah. Clinch will beat Turner. Oh, so yeah. Clinch, yeah. So Clinch would pick up two wins. Echo would probably drop at least one of the two. I think Clinch would be the three, Echo would be the four. four. Yeah. You're probably right on that, yeah. All right, getting ready to start game one of this doubleheader, the final two ball games of the regular season. <clears throat> Leading all for Eccles County is number seven, Gage Morey. On the mound for the Indians, number 15, Chase Roden. And we're underway. First pitch is a little outside, 1-0. One of pitch right down the middle. One on one. On one pitch, one gonna miss. One two, little low, two and two. Two two pitch, just a little bit low. Three and two. Three two pitch. Outside ball four. It's a leadoff walk here for Morey. Now bring up number zero, Remington Goss. Defensively for the Indians in the outfield, left field, Isaiah Baker, center field, David Walters, and right field today is Hayes Johnson. Eli Hall's behind the plate. Cole Crawford at third. Griffin Thomas at short. Ethan Crawford at second. And Garrett Vickers over at first. Goal squares and bunts one foul. Home one. And the aforementioned Chase Roden on the mound. Throw the first on her back. Throw the first on her back again. O one pitch. Call strike, 0 and 2. O two 2 pitch inside, throw down a first. Close play. Morey just got back. 
So one and two on Goss. One two pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Goss went after that high fastball, couldn't catch up to it. One down. That'll bring up number 11, Landon Bush. First pitch is foul back, hold him on. One. So I'm going to hit out towards second. Fielded there by Crawford. On the short for one. Uh, second for one and on the first for two. So need to turn the double play. Get out of here at the top of the first. Get to the bottom half. No score. We'll be back right after this. Liberty Automotive is located in Folkestone, Georgia at 3488 2nd Street South. We're a full service repair shop with multiple bays to handle anything from an oil change to a major repair. Call today at 912-496-0066 for more information. Justin and the staff can handle it all at Liberty. Liberty is a proud supporter of Charlton's youth. Since 2009, Southeastern Automotive Group has been buying for and selling to most of the franchise dealerships in the area. What if you were able to bypass the big dealerships with the big markups? Buy direct from the supplier. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle purchase. Have a trade-in? No problem. With used vehicles in such high demand, Southeastern Automotive Group has dealers ready to buy your trade. If Southeastern Automotive Group doesn't have the perfect vehicle for you, using their vehicle locator program, they will have it shipped in without any hassle or haggling you hate. With over hundreds of thousands of cars available at auctions across the nation, your next vehicle purchase is just a click away. Year 6 Seafood and Steakhouse, located at 853 South 6th Street in McClenney, Florida. Steaks cooked to order, seafood just right, fish plates with all the fixings, hamburgers all the way, fries and more. Go see old Salty and tell them CSN sent you. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse. Walker Jones Chevy, expansive inventory, home of the lifetime warranty, and we'll treat you like friends and good neighbors should. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevy, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. From the office. Welcome back to Indian Field. Senior night of the senior ceremony, ceremony uh, Sammy, is going to be after the in between the games, but we're going to run it at the beginning of the next game as far as the link goes. Right. Yep. In between games, we'll recognize our six seniors. Leading off for the Indians in the bottom of the first will be David Walters, followed by Cole Crawford and Griffin Thomas. Number 10, Zach Jones on the mound for the Wildcats. First pitch to David is swung on and hit foul out of play. 0-1. Oh, that double header at Lanier was so long, I felt like I got home this morning. Yep. <laughs> Walter swings and hits one to third, and it gets by the third baseman, Goss. And David will round first and take a look, but he'll stop there. And he'll be on via narrow here in the first. And that'll bring up one of the seniors, number 11, Cole Crawford. First pitch to Cole is... Outside, I want to know. Well, that game won the other night. The Tribe got tested, didn't they? They sure did. That was a great Man. ball game. Yep. 
They got tested. CSN got tested. It was so good. I even <laughs> lost a run somewhere. I don't know where I ha what happened to that run. Walters is going. Pitch is high. Throw down to second. Not in time. So stolen base for Walters. Two and zero on Crawford. Two bow pitch, swing and a miss. Two and one. Crawford batting. Let me get down there real quick and move the trailer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's went for it a couple times this year. Two one, low. Three and one. Three-one pitch, swung on, hit out toward first base dugout, first baseman over, and can't make the play. So three and two now on Crawford. Runner going, pitch is high. Throw down a third, Ooh. safe. Ooh Ball four on Cole. Now, Runners on the course. I'm gonna bring up number eight, Griffin Thomas. That breeze feels good. And just have him on first and third now with nobody out. First pitch to Griffin, runner going, pitches high, right back to the pitcher, and nothing to do for the Indians there. So they'll have him at second and third now with nobody out. Griffin swings and fouls the one back. One on one. One-one pitch. This one going to hit over to the right side, and this one will get through. Walter scores. Cole's running third, and he'll stop and go back to the bag. So an RBI single for Griffin Thomas. Give the Indians an early one or nothing lead. That'll bring up number 16, Eli Hobbs. Thomas at first, Crawford at third. Still nobody out. Better first. Griffin's back. Runner going. Oh, that's a dead ball. They got him in the back. So Griffin will be at second. Eli walk and go to first. We're gonna load them up. You know, we got to we got to leave the state and hit by batters. I can't tell you how many times we've been hit by a pitch this year. A pile of them. It seems like it seems like four or five a game. You, you don't uh, I can go back and look at it. All yeah, I do. I just oh. have to go back and look at it, but we get we hit probably four or five a game. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll go back and check that out. I guarantee it. Colton Cruz at the plate now for the Indians. First pitch is swung on a miss. One on one. One on one.
Man, what a week. What a day. I've had a day. 1-1 one, one pitch is high. 2-1. and one. I don't know who had that voodoo doll on me last night, but they can throw it in the trash, something. <laughs> Man. Two one swung on and hit high in the air towards center field. Mori in makes the catch. Cole attack from, from third and go to first, and Griffin attack from second and go to third, and he's in there safely. So an RBI sacrifice fly for Colton Cruz. He didn't. Uh, That's Lawrence. I didn't see him come Turner in. Turner beat Clinch earlier in the year. One time, yeah. yeah. I thought so. That's Lawrence running for Hobbs at second. He moved up to second on that fly ball. Hayes Johnson at the plate now for the Indians. Second and third, one out. Call strike. I went two. No two pitch. Swung on, hit to right field, and that's going to drop. Griffin to score. Lawrence will go to third, and he will stop there. So an RBI single for Hayes Johnson. Make it three to nothing now, Indians here to first. That'll bring up number one, Ethan Crawford. Runners at first and third, one out. First pitch to Ethan is foul back. One runner going, pitch a swung on, hit out here toward the left field, and that's going to get down. One runner score, Hayes will go to third, he will stop there. So, another run in for the Indians now, four to nothing. Crawford at second, Johnson at third. Another bring up, number 21, Garrett Vickers. And we're going to have a time call by Eccles County. Coach Deloach is going to come out and speak with his pitcher. Seniors that'll be recognized between ball games: Cole Crawford, Colton Cruz, Hayes Johnson, Garrett Vickers, Isaiah Baker, and Clayton Lawrence. Those are your 2024 seniors. Garrett Vickers at the plate now. One out. Runners at second and third. Runner going to the plate. Trying to steal home, and Vickers bunts it right back to the pitcher. Zones the field to go to first for the out. So one run scores. And Crawford to move over to third on the play. So give Garrett an RBI. Ethan's at third now with two outs. And that'll bring up number five, Isaiah Baker. First pitch to him is high, 1-0. One 
one oh pitch. Call strike, one on one. Man, you see that lead over there? <laughs> yeah. I'll wait, I'll wait for Ethan to take off any minute now and go to the plate. One one, high, two and one. Two one. So I'm gonna hit out here toward left. Still going. And it's gonna drop. Run scores and Baker will go into second. Sammy, you couldn't see it because your uh, field of vision was blocked, but that young man made a heck of an effort. He yeah. dove, his glove hit the fence, ball came out. Okay. That was a heck of an effort by that young man. So, six to nothing now, Indians. We'll get back to the top of the order. Number three, David Walters. David reached on the air and scored to lead this bottom of the ending off. Time called. First pitch to David. Swung on, hit out here toward left. Perez going over. And makes the catch for round number three. But a big inning for the Indians here in the top of the first. They score six. We'll go to the top of the second. Six to nothing Indians. We'll be back right after this. Charlton fans, we're looking for uh, sponsors to keep us on YouTube next week during the uh, first round of the GHSA playoffs. We need $350 for the GHSA video rights fees. So if you'd like if you know a business or a group of businesses that would like to be title sponsors for that series, you can shoot me a message on my personal Facebook. <laughs> Don't use CSN Facebook, the main Facebook page for that. Send us uh, on my personal Facebook page at Adam Bell CSN if you're interested in that. Or you can text me at 912-276-7999. We'll be right back. Sheriff Robert Phillips, go Indians and go Maidens. Rolling Property Services, everything you see here, plus eviction cleanouts. Call Bo Williams at 904-583-4572. Family owned Valancourt Construction, established in 1940. Welcome back to India Field, Sammy. All right, Indians lead a six to nothing going to the top of the second. Leading off for the Wildcats will be number 13, JPD, followed by Zach Jones and Caden DeLoach. Well, I need to clarify on that announcement. If we don't, if we're not able to raise the funds for YouTube, we'll be on the NFHS. Yep. So either way, we're streaming it. <clears throat> first pitch to D's in for a strike, 0 and 1. <clears throat> That one pitch is low, one and one. Swung on a hit over to the right side. That's a fair ball. That ball's going to roll down in the corner over there. Hayes will get over and cut it off. D's at second, and he'll stop there with a leadoff double. So good start to the second for the Wildcats. That'll bring up number 10, Zach Jones. Kind of an in, in, inside out swing for D's and hit it right down the right field line. First pitch to Jones in for a strike, over to one, throw down the second. I hit D's on the ankle. He's back safely. Oh, one. 
Swung so on and hit foul over by the first base dugout. They were bailing over there in that dugout. Pitch a swung on and hit the short center field. Griffin goes oh, out of nice Mesa. Good catch. About 10 feet on the grass to take a hit away from Jones. Mm. So one down. That'll bring up number 31, Caden DeLoach. First pitch to the loads, down low, 1-0. and one oh high, 2-0. Pitch inside, 3-0. and Throw back to second, runner back safe. for a strike. <clears throat> Pitch to the loads. Inside, ball four, still about the second, and runners back safe. So why not walk for the loads? He's gonna give the Wildcats runners at first and second now. Got to bring up left fielder, number 16, Jose Perez. About the second, close play. Dees just got back. Pitch to Perez. He squares. He bunts one right back to the mound. Chase Fields throws the third, and it's a wild throw. And the ball goes out of play. D's the score. The Loach will go to third, and Perez will be at second. Six to one. Now we Indians lead it. Wildcats runners have runners at second and third. Now with one out, that'll bring up J.D. Staten. Staten shows bunt, pulls back, and takes ball one. One oh, little bunt laid out in the third. Cole. Fields that face to home. Let's go back to third. And they're going to have the load in a rundown. He's going to be tagged out there by Griffin. No. Said he missed him. Now they got him at third. They well, didn't I thought they did. They didn't tag him twice, I thought. And now he's going to be definitely tagged out by. No Hobbs drops the ball. They're going to throw it back to the plate. And Garrett's going <laughs> to guess the ball and field him. Well, I guess they missed three tags. But Garrett gets him at the plate for round number two. <laughs> he tagged him about three tags. <laughs> what the world was that? <laughs> 
That'll bring it up number 14, Hunnell Casterberry for the Wildcats. So Staten will be at first, Perez at second. First pitch to Castleberry is swung on a miss, 0-1. Way back to second, close, oh, just got back. No one in for a strike, 0 and 2. Inside, 1 and 2. One, two pitch, foul back. One, two, hit foul at the plate. One, two, pitch to Castleberry. Swing and a miss. Yep, they say he got a piece of it. So Castleberry hang alive at the plate. Still one and two. One, two, in the dirt. Throw to third. Got him at third. I don't know, I'm not sure where Perez was going, but he's thrown out at third for out number three. But a Wildcats get one here in the top of the second. Go to the bottom half in this lead at 6-2. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Indians Baseball on CSN. Valencourt is constantly seeking out new markets and opportunities as well as state-of-the-art construction technology. We consider this vital in order to provide value for our customers, career opportunities for our employees, and a bright future for our organization. Valencourt is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. It's hot outside, so come cool down at the Chill Zone. Pick from among our many delicious flavors. We specialize in snow cones, but we have such a wide variety of items on our menu, you can satisfy just about any craving at the Chill Zone. The Chill Zone is mobile, so wherever you may find yourself with the need to keep your cool, just look for that bright yellow Chill Zone mobile and come cool down at the Chill Zone. In your time of need, give Rob Robertson a call at 912-496-7388. Shepherd Robertson Funeral Home says go Indian. Welcome back to Indian Field, bottom of the second. Your tribe leads six to one over the Wildcats. Senior night, Sammy. All right, leading off will be Cole Crawford, then followed by Griffin Thomas and Eli Hobbs. Cole Walton score back in the first. First pitch to Cole is top foul, everybody dug out. Oh, one, swung on, hit high to short center field. 
Morty in about 10 steps and makes the catch for route number one. That'll bring up Griffin Thomas. Griffin Singleton scored in the first. Who won the Griffin this high? I want to know. One oh, swung on hit out toward right center field. Castleberry in about three steps and made the catch for out number two. That'll bring up Eli Hobbs. Eli was hit by a pitch and scored back in the first. Curve in for a strike. Good pitch from Jones. 0 oh 1. Oh 1. Another curve. Stayed outside. 1 and 1. One one pitch, a little bit low, two and one. Two one, grounded over towards short. Fielded there by Dees. Throw to first. In time for right number three. Good throw, an even better play over there at first by Landon Bush for the Wildcats. So three up and three down for the Indians here in the second. Go to the top of the third. Indians lead at six to one. We'll be back right after this, live from Indian Field. Lewis P. Specialist of Fabrication is located at 169 Little Phoebe Church Road in Folkston, Georgia. President Mark Pickering and his employees utilize the latest technology with a skilled workforce to supply customers with the best custom fabrication possible. Serving clients at home and abroad makes ESP a premier employer in Charlton County. For all your specialty and fabrication needs, contact ESP at 912-496-2583 today. They're also on Facebook at ESP Specialist Fabrication. ESP is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sportsnet. We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should at the home of the lifetime warranty, Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Charlton Electric, serving Charlton and surrounding counties with over 20 years experience in both commercial and residential services. Our electricians can meet your needs. We offer installation on whole house generators, service upgrades for mobile home services, troubleshooting, ceiling fan and light fixtures, and much more. Call us today for an estimate, 912-496-4528. West Folkston Auto Supply is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sports. For all of your auto and big truck needs, go by and see Sammy and his staff today. They have everything from lawnmower blades to parts for big rigs and heavy equipment. Park West Folkston Auto Supply is located at 4439 2nd Street in Folkston, Georgia. For all of your parts and assessments. Welcome back, Sammy. All right. Leading off the third for Wildcats will be Hunter Castleberry. He was at the plate back in the second when DeLoach was thrown out at third. Then back to the top of the order and Maury and Goss. First pitch, swing and a miss, 0-1. and 2 O2 pitch hit over toward the third. Cole Fields. Crow hops and makes a good throw to first for out number one. That'll get us back to the top of the lineup. <clears throat> Gage Morey. Morey walked and was a part of a double play back in the first.
First pitch is swung on and hit foul out of play. 0 and 1. Wonder where they're cooking a concession stand tonight. It looks like dinner's going to be here tonight. Yeah. I don't know, probably the same. 0 1 pitch swung on, hit out toward deep center field. David goes back and catches it about 10 feet from the fence for out number two. Now to bring up number zero, Raymond Goss. Goss struck out back in the first. He swings and hits to the short. Griffin Fields throws the first in time for out number three. So three up and three down for the Wildcats in the top of the third. Go to the bottom half. Indians lead at six to one. We'll be right back. If you're interested in helping us stay on YouTube for the first round of the playoffs, Shoot me a text at 912-276-7999. It's CarQuest Buxton. Go Indians. For nearly 20 years, Georgia's electric membership cooperatives have made Friday night football electrifying. As the official energy provider of the GHSA, Georgia's EMCs are proud to support high school athletics in the communities we serve. Standing behind every hike, every completed pass, and every team celebration. Because we know that today's high school athletes are tomorrow's local leaders. Georgia's EMCs. Allen Aldridge Insurance, located in Kingsland, Georgia, is proud to serve the communities of Charlton and Camden counties, offering life, home, car, and business insurance. See Andy Gowan today for your insurance needs. Phone 912-729-7600 for more information. Protecting you is what we do. Gowan Aldridge Insurance is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. Seasons Floral, located at 4415. All right, welcome back. Indian Field, Sammy. All right, Indians lead at 6-1, to one, going to the bottom of the third. Colton Cruz, Hayes Johnson, and Ethan Crawford, the first three for the Indians. Colton flew out to center back in the first. He'll take a ball outside, 1-0. Oh. 1-0, swung on, hit toward first. Bush Fields. He, he made and it. He stayed for first. So Colton, that run, outran the first baseman and safe at first. That'll bring up Hayes Johnson. Hayes had an RBI single and scored in the first. Hayes, one of the six seniors, Emma Colton. So we're going to hit out toward the middle. Fielded by Dees, flip the second for one on the first. Gets by the first baseman. So Colton will be out of second. Hayes safe at first. So one down. Better bring up Ethan Crawford. Ethan had an RBI single and scored back in the first. First pitch to him is high, 1-0. Ethan swings and fouls one back. 1-1. But at first, he's back safe.
Runner going. Pitches inside. Throw down to second. Not in time. So give Hayes a stolen base. He'll be at second now with one out. Two on, swung on and hit foul. Two and two. Here it is. Ethan swings and hits one there foul down the right side. Set so a counter remain two and two. Two two again. Curve stayed high. Three and two now on Ethan Crawford. Low, ball four. So Crawford will walk. First and second now for the Indians, one out. That's going to bring up Garrett Vickers. Garrett had an RBI back in the first inning. First pitch to him, runner's going. Bunt over toward first base. First baseman in the field, and he'll throw to second out of time. The ball goes over to second baseman. One run scores. Ethan's going around third. He's going to go to the plate. He'll score, and Garrett all the way around to third. That, my friends, is how you run bases. He will be there now with only one out. He was wide open <laughs> from the time he hit that bunt. So Johnson scores, Crawford scores. <coughs> Briggers at third, another bring up Isaiah Baker. Baker doubled and had an RBI back in the first. Eight to one Indians now here in the third. First pitch to Isaiah, a little bit inside, one to know. Two oh. So we're gonna hit up the short. D's over and cuts it off. Uh, will not have a play and run scores. Even if he fields that ball clean, cleanly, he don't throw Baker out. So give Isaiah an infield single and an RBI. Nine to one now, Indians. And we'll go back to the top of the order. David Walters. <clears throat> David reached on the air and scored in the first and flew out to the left in the second. We're going to have time called. Costa Loach is coming out to the mound. He's going to take the ball from Jones, and we're going to have a pitching change. Number. 13. Uh, it's going to be number 13, JPDs, to come on the pitch for the Wildcats now. And Jones will go from the mound to shortstop. All right. While Dees is warming up, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching Indians Baseball on CSN. New pitcher for the Wildcats, number 13, JPDs. Street North in Folkestone, Georgia. 
has all of your floral needs covered from Valentine's to birthdays and weddings to life celebrations, proms, special occasions, or just to say you love that someone special. We deliver as well. Call 912-496-7043 and we'll assist you with any floral need at Four Seasons Floral. Liberty Automotive is located in Folkestone, Georgia at 3488 2nd Street South. We're a full service repair shop with multiple bays to handle anything from an oil change to a major repair. Call today at 912-496-0066 for more information. Justin and his staff can handle it all at Liberty. Liberty is a proud supporter of Charlton's youth. Since 2009, Southeastern Automotive Group has been buying for and selling to most of the franchise dealerships in the area. What if you were able to bypass the big dealerships with the big markups? Buy direct from the supplier. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle purchase. Have a trade-in? No problem. With used vehicles in such high demand, Southeastern Automotive Group has dealers ready to buy your trade. Welcome back, Sammy. All right, runners at first now. That's Baker. Walter's at the plate. For the Indians. Three runs in so far here in the inning. David will take strike one. Oh one, runner going. Pitches inside. And it'll be no throw. Isaiah got a great jump. And the loach behind the plate. Didn't even try to throw it to second. Mr. Walter swung on and chopped over toward first. And that's going to get through in the right field. David round it. Oh, Christian Isaiah round it first. He'll go to the plate. David to second. He'll be there safely. Ball gets by the shortstop. Walter to get up and move over to third. Coach is sending him to the plate. Coach gonna oh, now he's going to hold him up. And the ball goes over Deloach at the plate. But Walter's, I'm Christian Deloach is quick to get it and hold David at third. So give Walters an RBI. Baker scores. 10 to 1 Indians. That'll bring up Cole Crawford. Cole walked in the first and scored and flew out to center in the second. First pitch to him is swung on and foul back. 0 1. David going to the plate. He's going to try to steal home. Throw to the plate. And he's out. So David throwing out of the plate, trying to steal home for round number two. Coach tried it. <laughs> the base is empty now for the Indians. Pistol Cole caught the stride. Good breaking ball from Dees. Pistol Cole is grounded over toward third. Goss on the first. In time for round number three. But the Indians get four more runs here in the third to extend their lead. Go to the top of the fourth. Indians lead at 10 to 1. We'll be back right after this. Shop local. Support the folks that support your youth. If Southeastern Automotive Group doesn't have the perfect vehicle for you, using their vehicle locator program, they will have it shipped in without any hassle or haggling you hate. With over hundreds of thousands of cars available at auctions across the nation, your next vehicle purchase is just a click away.
Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse, located at 853 South 6th Street in McClenny, Florida. Steaks cooked to order, seafood just right, fish plates with all the fixings, hamburgers all the way, fries and more. Go see old Salty and tell them CSN sent you. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse. Walker Jones Chevy, expansive inventory, home of the lifetime warranty, and we'll treat you like friends and good neighbors should. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevy, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. From the office of Sheriff Robert Phillips, go Indians and go Maidens. Rowan Property Services, everything you see here, plus... Welcome back, Sammy. All right, going to the top of the fourth. Indians lead it 10 to 1. Uh, Leading off the fourth for the Wildcats is Landon Bush. It will be followed by JPDs and Zach Jones. Bush grounded out to the second baseman back in the first. Walter's a little late coming on the field. Now he's out here in center field, and he says he's ready to go. First pitch, swung on and hit, foul out of play. Chase Roden still on the mound for the Indians. Chase has given up a hit and struck out one. 0-1 inside, 1-1. On one pitch, topped out towards short. Griffin in, fields, throws the first in time for out number one. <clears throat> That'll bring up J.P. Dees. Dees doubled and scored. The only run in the game for the Wildcats so far back in the second. First pitch. Uh, outside, I guess. One or no. One oh, so we're gonna head out toward right center field. Hayes over and he can't get it. It's gonna bounce in front of him. But he'll cut it off from getting any further. And Dees will hold it first. So Dees two for two in the game. Single and a double. That'll bring up Zach Jones. He popped out to short back in the second. First pitch, grounded out towards short. Griffin in fields on the second for one. On the first, not in time. So to get the lead runner at second, but Jones beats out the third to first. He'll be there now with two outs. Got to bring up Caden DeLoach. DeLoach walked back in the second. First pitch, swung hit toward third, down the third baseline. That's a fair ball. Jones around second, but he'll stay there at third. A Christian at second. Good job by Isaiah, Isaiah getting over and cutting that ball off and getting in quick to hold Jones at second. So first and second now with two outs. That'll bring up Jose Perez. Perez reached on the arrow. Back in the second. First pitch to him is inside. One and oh.
One-0 pitch popped up on the infield. Garrett comes in and calls it. And he's caught off there at short by Griffin. Griffin makes the catch for at number three. So Wildcats leave two runners on base in the fourth. Go to the bottom half. Ten to one Indians. We'll be back right after this. Indians baseball live on CSN. Eviction cleanouts. Call Bo Williams at 904-583-4572. Family owned Valancourt Construction established in 1945. Valancourt is constantly seeking out new markets and opportunities as well as state-of-the-art construction technology. We consider this vital in order to provide value for our customers, career opportunities for our employees, and a bright future for our organization. Valancourt is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. It's hot outside, so come cool down at the Chill Zone. Pick from among our many delicious flavors. We specialize in snow cones, but we have such a wide variety of items on our menu, you can satisfy just about any craving at the Chill Zone. The Chill Zone is mobile, so wherever you may find yourself with the need to keep your cool, just look for that bright yellow Chill Zone mobile and come cool down at the Chill Zone. Welcome back to Indian Field. 10-1, to 1, bottom of the fourth, Sammy. Right, leading off the four for the Indians will be Griffin Thomas, followed by Eli Hobbs and Colton Cruz. All right, JPDs has finished his warm-up tosses, and he's ready to go. Griffin Thomas leading it off. Griffin, one out of two. He singled, had an RBI and scored in the first, and flew out the right in the second. First pitch, a little low, one and oh. Y'all don't forget we'll be carrying seed your ceremony live. That will be at the beginning of the next game's game length. 1-0 is high, 2-0. Two a pitch swung on out towards center field. Morey over to his left and can't get it it's off his glove. Griffin around first and he'll go into second. Lead off double. Morey got to it. Hit off the inventor's glove, but he couldn't hold on to it. Man, these deep corner shots, they're getting tough. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good problem, though. It's a good problem we're, with the we're, signs. We're going to start putting cameras on the foul poles. Yeah. <laughs> well, Andy actually made me up where he took it down this year. I see it's not there anymore. But the... Eli hits one to third. Fielded by Goss. On the first in time for our number one. Thomas will stay at second. That'll bring up Colton Cruz. Anyway, I was about to say a few years back, it might have been before you even started with started with me. Andy had put me a camera box in front on top of the dugout over there. Uh -huh. And uh to shoot, to shoot these corners, but obviously it's down from years past. Right. Colton, one out of two. He flew out in the first and singled in the third. 
He swings and hits one foul. We had a ladder set up over there. And it was a whole thing. It was a One and one. Hi, two and one. Downside of having a camera way up there like that is it added another about another twenty minutes of setup time. Yeah. You know, walking back and forth and everything. Two one pitch fouled off at the plate. Two and two. Two two Kerr stayed outside three and two. Three two pitch swung on hit out toward right center. That ball's gonna get down. That ball's gonna roll all the way to the wall. Griffin round third. He'll score. Colton's at second and he'll hold there. So an RBI double for Colton Cruz. Want to bring up Hayes Johnson. Hayes singled and scored in the first. Reached on the fielder's choice and scored in the third. First pitch to him is in for a strike, 0 1. 11 1 now, Indians lead it. O 1 to Hayes. A little outside, 1 1. One one pitch is hit out the short right field. Right fielder going over and he can't get to it. It's going to fall and it's going to get past him a little bit. Colton is going to round third and go to the plate. And Hayes, oh, go to second. And he's going to get tagged out. He went too far past the bag and they threw behind him and got him at second. But the run does score. Give Hayes an RBI. So with two outs, bases empty, that'll bring up Ethan Crawford. Ethan's been to the plate twice, singled, scored twice, and walked. He'll swing and hit a little slow roller toward first. Bush of field, toss to the pitcher at first base. In time for out number three. The Indians get two more runs here in the fourth. Go to the top of the fifth. They lead it 12 to 1. We'll be right back after this. In your time of need, give Rob Robertson a call at 912-496-7388. Shepherd Robertson Funeral Home says go Indians. ESP Specialist of Fabrication is located at 169 Little Phoebe Church Road in Folkestone, Georgia. President Mark Pickering and his employees utilize the latest technology with a skilled workforce to supply customers with the best custom fabrication possible. Serving clients at home and abroad makes ESP a premier employer in Charlton County. For all your specialty and fabrication needs, contact ESP at 912-496-2583 today. They're also on Facebook at ESP Specialist Fabrication. ESP is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sportsnet. 
We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should at the home of the lifetime warranty, Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Charlton Electric, serving Charlton and surrounding counties with over 20 years experience in both commercial and residential services. Our electricians can meet your needs. We offer installation on whole house generators, service upgrades for mobile home services, troubleshooting, ceiling fan and light. Welcome back. Sammy, Guy Gowans are down in Altamont Springs having a steak dinner watching us on CSN. Well, outstanding. I guess you couldn't ask for much better than that. Guy had better be bringing us a steak back, right? <laughs> you go. <laughs> yep. Guy, thanks for watching, man. All right, leading off the fifth to be Staten, Castleberry, and Morey. Staten fouls the first pitch off, 0-1. Oh and two. Change defensively for the Indians. Number seven, Clayton Lawrence. So come on to play right field now for the Indians. He says he's having a steak and tater with number three's mom. Shoot yeah. Pitch right back up in the middle. Griffin Fields knocks it down, but he will not have a play in time to get the run at first. So I hit right back off the pitcher's mound, bounced out behind the bag. Griffin got to it, knocked it down, picked it up, but not in time to get Staten. So that'll bring up number 14, Hunnell Castleberry. Third oh, first. Ball will get by. Cold, but not far enough for running to advance. <clears throat> Bun attempt up in the air. Eli dies oh, for it. By Levi, did he get it? Uh, almost got it. It dropped. Another change defensively. Hayes Johnson will come in from right field. He'll play second base now. Ethan Crawford will now be at third, and Cole's at first. I said Levi. I meant Eli. Eli. Where did I get that from? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either, man. So that's your change. About a week, dude. <laughs> that's your change of defensively for the Indians. <laughs> I'm sorry, Snapper. I don't know where I got Levi from. Squares the bun again. Lays one down third. Ethan Fields. Look at second, but he'll go to first. In time for out number one. So, Staten will be at second now with one out. And we'll get back to the top of the order. Gage Morey walked in the first and flew out to center in the third. One down. First pitch to Morey. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Throw back to second, runner back safe. Pitch is called strike. Oh and two. So about the second old ball goes out in center field. Staten will get up and go to third, and he'll be there with one out. It's a wild throw by Chase, trying to get the runner picked off. And Staten will be at third now with one out. 
Pitch to Morey. Grounded back up to the middle. Griffin at the back fields on the first in time for out number two. And the run scores. Make it 12 to 2. That'll bring up Remington Goss. Goss is there for two. Struck out in the first and grounded out to short in the third. First pitch to him is swung on, hit high in the air, out of play. Oh one, fouled off at the plate. Oh and two. Oh two. Low, one and two. One, two pitch. Fouled off at the plate, still one and two. Call strike three, got him looking. Four out number three. Wildcats get one here in the fifth. And that's going to be your ball game. The final score, Charlton County 12, Eccles County 2. We'll be back in just a moment. Sam here have the post-game stats report. That's coming up here in just a few minutes. Charlton 12, Eccles 2, game one, senior night. The ceremony will be in the front of the next game link. So keep that in mind, folks. We'll be back in just a minute with Sammy and the post-game wrap-up. Are you ready, Ari? Oh, go ahead, Sammy. Go All ahead. right. For the Eccles County Wildcats, two runs on four hits. They committed two errors. They left three runners on base. Two runs, four hits, two errors, left three on base. For the Indians, 12 runs on 10 hits. They committed two errors. 12 runs, 10 hits, two errors. In his left, one runner on base. Winning pitcher is number 15, Chase Roden. Losing pitcher, number 10, Zach Jones. In his win at 12 2. Good. All right, we'll be back in uh, about 30 minutes. I think it was 548 now, so what, 620? He announced six. Did they say six? That's what he announced. I don't know if that's going to be it or really? not. Okay. Well, we'll be back live as soon as possible. <laughs>